My name is Andrea Weck. I'm a single mom with three beautiful daughters, including Lexi, who has special needs. Lexi was born with cerebral palsy, mental retardation, and autism. The doctor said Lexi would never crawl. She would never walk. Despite having a lot to overcome, Lexi has done remarkable things. But for two years in public schools, Lexi made almost no progress. The school was overwhelmed. Lexi's classroom had eight children with all sorts of serious disabilities. How could one teacher focus on each child when you've got eight who require individual care and attention? Pretty soon, the school didn't know where to place Lexi. What the public school offered was basically babysitting. Lexi grew in age, but she didn't grow in social skills. She still couldn't communicate with her sisters or me. Then I found Chrysalis Academy. Chrysalis has one teacher for every two students. I knew Lexi would grow in that environment, and she has. The Arizona Scholarship Program gave me the power to make such an important choice for Lexi, a choice I couldn't otherwise afford. The voucher allowed me to choose a school that accommodates Lexi's special needs. The Chrysalis Academy has helped Lexi make enormous strides. Lexi actually sits and reads with her sister, something she never did before. She wants to be where we are. She doesn't want to be in her room alone. Now, she's part of the family. She never would have learned these skills in the public schools. Thanks to school choice, Lexi has become more self-sufficient. She helps herself to breakfast. She'll get her own backpack when it's time for school. If we want to go swimming, she gets her suit. In public school, Lexi had speech therapy only once a week for one hour. In the Chrysalis Academy, speech therapy is every day. At Chrysalis Academy, she's learned 11 signs. She's just doing remarkably. I can finally communicate with her, whereas before I had absolutely no idea. 27 children receive public funds to attend Chrysalis. But since Lexi is one of the ones who attends thanks to the Arizona Scholarships Program, her educational future is in question. The dozen or so kids who were assigned there by public school officials are not in jeopardy, but because we parents made that choice, our kids' educational futures are at risk. The teachers' union, the ACLU, and the People for the American Way have now twice sued to take away our power to choose. School choice has turned this little disabled girl into a girl who can learn, into a girl who this year we hope will talk for the first time. Why would anyone want to take away that growth just because a parent, not a public school official, decided which school she attends? If the people opposed to choice knew each one of these children and saw the progress they were making, I can't believe they would take it away from them. Lexi has the capability to be a productive person in society, and she will become one. There's so much in there. It's just a matter of finding the right way to teach her, and I am positive that we found that. That's why I'm fighting for school choice.